close to the van. We have to find her. Let's hurry up. We might be close. ice cream today. That sounded like Shawnee. I better check what's going on. Maybe she can help me find peaches. Thanks for the ride, friend. Getting frozen yogurt now that I've saved you from all that sorbet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I think I've had enough ice cream related adventures for the day. What do you mean? I was chasing the ice cream truck on the back of a dog before meeting you. What? Why? Peaches ran out of the house. <gasps> oh no! I looked everywhere on the streets in the park, but there's no sign of her. It's been a few hours now, and I'm getting worried. I hope that nothing bad happened. We'll find her, Polly. Let's organize a bigger search party. Maybe we could even put posters <gasps> in. Oh, that's a great idea. Can you hear that? Maybe it's Peaches. Whoever it is, it sounds like it needs help. Come on. To be continued. She said we had to stay in the classroom, but she didn't say anything about going pocket-sized and into the pencil case. Tiny power! Yeah. Yeah. All right! Whoa! Chillaxicious! Uh. 
Lila and Nicholas. Uh, they had to leave. Students can't just leave during detention. That's why I asked the librarian to keep an eye on the door. And she did. Uh, she's the one who took them. She said they had to go to compete in a speed reading competition. If you're making this up, Miss Pocket, I will have to call your parents for a third time. A third time? <laughs> It's like you're not even trying. My record six. And I need to go to the water fountain. Sit down. It's time for science presentation, so I need complete silence. First up is, um, Andre Anderson. <sighs> Always gotta be first. <sighs> Smell that? Smells like I'm about to kick your bucket. That comment doesn't even make sense. Says you! Hang tight, I have a... Miss Pocket! <gasps> you find this more interesting than science, do you? <laughs> well, it won't be able to distract you in the drawer. But my friend, uh, pencils are in there. Right, Polly. Make sure he takes a nap this afternoon and call me if there's any problem. I got this, Mom. Don't worry. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to babysit Peaches, too. Come on, Peaches. It's lunchtime for everyone. You hungry, Pax? Open your mouth wide! Uh. <coughs> Come on now, it's yummy! <coughs> okay, Pax, you win. Here's the spoon, but you better eat or... <coughs> <laughs> Tiny power! <laughs> oh. uh. Tiny, tiny! Go big! No more tiny if you're naughty. Maybe let's get you ready for a nap. Let's get you to bed. Let's see, where's your teddy? Packs, it's sleepy time. There will be lots of time to play later. Sleep tight. <laughs> How do you even do that? <laughs> 
bug. Okay, buddy. You want to play? Game on! that I'd use my locket to make you sleep. <sighs> right, the house is all clean. I think I'm ready for a nap, too. Oh, honey, I think that you didn't close the door properly when we left. Sorry. So, how did it go? All good. He's napping. Great! Did you remember to feed Peaches as well? Yes, yes. She's all fed and happy. Uh... Peaches? Peaches! Where are you? Oh no. I think she ran out! To be continued! I can't wait to see how styling Gwen is. <laughs> that outfit is to die for. Is there a more fabulous word for fabulous? Because that's how you look. Do you hear what I hear? <gasps> My handiwork is coming this week, and it sounds like smashing fashion. Watch out, Pocket, because from now on, everything's coming up Gwen. Hmm. My finely honed powers of observation tell me that Gwen is totally into it. Great! That'll make the next step even easier. Whoa, next step? <laughs> you want me to make over Grizel? No, the step where everyone is so charmed by Gwen's confidence that she becomes super popular and she doesn't have time to hang out with Grizel and plan how they're gonna steal my locket. Although, Grizel could use a makeover. My dress? Oh, this old thing? I just threw it on, but you're right. I do wear it well. This old thing? Oh, please! Come on, while they're looking at Gwen, we can make it to the piano. Okay, class. Yeah, hmm. It appears that Polly, Shawnee, and Lila have been excused from this period due to a case of highly contagious puffy pox. <laughs> Yuck! Puffy pox? You could have said we were whisked away to Paris for an impromptu modeling gig. It had to be believable. And something that no one would ask for pick proof of. Here are the assignments for everyone else. Gwen Grande, you'll be playing the piano today. But I don't play the piano. Well, if it's on the list, it's on the list. <laughs> Give it a try, won't you? You can do it, Gwen! When you look as good as you do, you can do anything! Andre, you'll be on the drums, and Olivia, you're trumpet. There. Now, no matter how badly she plays, no one will hear it. They'll only hear me, and I'm good. Oh, maybe this whole confidence thing is contagious. No, it's a fact. I'm good. I could read music since I was three. Plus, I was born with perfect pitch. Oh, and I used to play piano recitals at Child Prodigy Summer Camp. Shawnee, I'm going 
gonna cut you off there before you start bragging. Hit it, Maestro! many things to do. I want to make the best birthday cake in the world! And I want to race around the skate park with Shawnee, Nicholas, and Lila. Oh, and there's also that free games all day event at the arcade. No, wait. Actually, today, I want to take everyone on a helicopter ride. I just need to add a new propeller. Hmm, let's see. Ask Lila for help. I'm sure that we can find the perfect propeller in her accessories. <laughs> oh, Shawnee, are you okay? I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry. Happy birthday, by the way. Thanks! I'm so excited to celebrate with everyone! Uh, no! Uh, leave it. I'll take care of it. Uh, really sorry, but I'm busy today. I have to... Hmm, finish a science project. Let's celebrate another time. Uh, see you! Okay. Bye. Hey, Lila! I was just looking for you. Can you help me find a propeller for my helicopter? I want to take everyone on a ride for my bus. Sorry, Polly. I've got a super busy schedule today. See you later, okay? Oh, and happy B day. Thanks. Oh, why is everyone so busy today? Well, I guess no helicopter ride. But maybe Nicholas is at the skate park. He'll definitely be up for a race. Birthday girl! Uh, Nicholas, wait! I wanted us to race! Sorry, I'm late. Gotta go, but catch up soon. I can't believe that they can't celebrate it with me. Maybe I could try something new. Tiny power! <laughs> this is so much fun! The others are totally missing out. That's enough for today. Actually, maybe I could swing by the arcade for that free game event. Event. Let's check it out. Go big! Happy birthday, Polly! Wow! This is amazing! Thank you, guys! You didn't expect us to throw a party, did you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get this party started. We made the cake ourselves. Mmm, <gasps> it looks so yummy. 
I was so scared that you might discover our plan when we bumped into each other earlier. Thankfully, you didn't notice the candles falling out of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Polly, make a wish. I don't need to wish for anything. I've already got the best friends in the world. Let's blow the candles out together. One, two, three. <sighs> Happy birthday, Polly! Wow, awesome moves. Thanks. I'm Polly. These are my friends, Lila and Shawnee. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Hamal. Why aren't you skating in the big bowl? You're amazing. You mean Devin's bowl? No way is he letting me near that. That's not fair. The skate park should be for everyone. Try explaining that to Devin. I will! We're gonna get that bowl back! I wish you luck, cuz I got a feeling you're gonna need it. Wait up, guys! Devin! We demand that you let Hamal and any other kids skate in this bowl! <laughs> I didn't just let anyone into the bowl, kid. Look at Pierce! Dude proved he was good enough to be part of my crew. And to be part of my crew, you gotta be loyal. Isn't that right? If Pierce proved he's good enough, so can I. So can all of us. No way Teeny McTwerps as good as we are. Wanna bet? Huh? We'll hold a skate competition. If we win, we get control of the bowl and we let everyone in. If your crew wins, you can keep control. Ha! <laughs> Dumbest bet ever! It'll be a skate off. The dev crew versus the twerpy twerps. May the best team win. Ooh, Gigi's gonna love this. Skate date! <laughs> if we can't practice there, we'll replicate the bowl here. Model perfection. Hi, Polly Export on your 3D printer was great. And I've redesigned your safety equipment to maximize aerodynamics and minimize helmet head. Nice. Are you ready to train for the competition of your life? <laughs> yeah! So are you sure you want to wear those shoes with that dress? <clears throat> Twist will be the most advanced move that any of Devin's crew can do. And you're the only skater on our team skilled enough to try it. This is it. Moment of truth. <sighs> hey, everyone! Holly here, and welcome back to my vlog. So, Lila started a summer internship at the fashion boutique in the mall today, and she was super nervous. Thankfully, Shawnee and I were there to help. Lila is so hardworking. How did she find this summer internship? A friend of her mom's owns the fashion boutique, and offered her to come in when she saw her last dress creation. Wow, that's awesome. She must be excited. Oh my gosh, it's my first day and I'm already late. You've got an hour before your shift starts. That's plenty of time. Not if you need to fix your hair and customize your outfit. Mm, relax, we'll help you get ready. Thanks, guys. Uh, I can't get this to fit! It looks good enough to me. I don't know. I'm just so nervous. How can I help people if I can't even customize my own outfit? Lila, you're a brilliant stylist. Just trust your instincts. Uh, there must be a customer coming in. What am I going to do? 
I've got an idea! <laughs> Tiny power! Take us with you! We'll hide in your pockets, and whenever you need advice, we'll help! Guys, did you hear? The store assistant just told me to arrange these shoes on the display. Any suggestions? Okay, this is easy. Let's classify these in a logical alphabetical order just like you do with library books. So blue ones first because B comes before Y for yellow. How about a more practical approach? Let's do summer shoes on one side and winter shoes on the other. Huh? But sneakers aren't really winter or summer shoes. See, my system makes more sense. But this isn't a library, Shawnee. Lila? <laughs> I didn't know you worked here, Lila. Oh, hi, Mrs. Pocket. I'm interning here for the summer. <gasps> I'm just trying something new with the display. Can I help you with anything? Actually, yes. I'd like to buy a hat. Let me show you the hat collection. Sure about the color. Color? Of course. Let me find another one. Uh, Shawnee, I told you it wasn't a match. Uh, how about that one? Let's try this one. Uh, maybe too big? I did say it wouldn't fit. That style suits her, though. Right! That's it! <gasps> Stay here! I'm so sorry. Can you maybe tell me more about what you're looking for? I'm going for a vintage look. Let me see. <laughs> How about this? I love it! Thank you! <laughs> My pleasure! Are you okay? Sorry for confusing you, Lila. Yes, sorry for arguing as well. No, it's okay. You guys just wanted to help. But you were right, Polly. I need to trust my instincts. <laughs> guys, what do you think of this? I went for a chromatic order according to the colors of the rainbow. Wow, well done, Lila. It's really eye-catching. Thank you. And I appreciate you guys trying to help. I know you always mean well. You're the best friends <laughs> ever. Lila ended up doing so well on her first day because she trusted her instincts and worked with confidence. Okay, signing off for now. And remember, tiny is mighty. <laughs> <laughs>